using OpenAI to update a Blazor Excel worksheet. Let's first switch over to the Table 2 sample data and we'll make a little room for ourselves here. What we're going to first do is add the area code to the phone number first for the Los Angeles record and then for the Long Beach record. And then we'll click the submit button to submit this to OpenAI so that it can detect that the other records need their phone number updated to add their area code. We'll click apply changes and OpenAI will determine what the new phone number area code should be and we'll notice that it actually matches the city with the right area code. Looking at this other sample, here we'll add a pound symbol in front of the product names and we'll submit to OpenAI which will detect that the other product names need to be updated but here we'll click the log so that we can actually see the logic that OpenAI used to determine what the changes were and the JSON that it returned to indicate which cells should be updated. We can then click apply changes to then get the updated values and we can also see the logic that OpenAI used as well as a JSON to indicate the cells. When we look at the next sample we see that we can update more than one column at a time and the changes will be detected and we can apply the changes to update the data. Let's look at the application. When we look at the application in Visual Studio we see that not many files are actually updated. The home.razor page contains the user interface for the sample. The OpenAI service options class is just a simple class to hold the OpenAI key. The OpenAI service actually handles the calls to OpenAI and the app settings is where we actually store the actual OpenAI key and the program.cs file is used to configure some of the registration for the Blazor datasheet control and the OpenAI service. When we go to Manage NuGet Packages, we will install uh, three NuGet Packages, the Blazor Datasheet NuGet Package, the NewtonSoft JSON Package, and the OpenAI.NET Package for communicating with OpenAI. In the program.cs file, we're going to also need to add two lines to register the Blazor Datasheet as well as a service for handling the calls to OpenAI. And the Blazor Datasheet control requires two lines to be added to the app Razor page, uh, one for the CSS styles and one for the JavaScript file. We also open up the app settings.json file to add the OpenAI key. Let's first look at the datasheet control. We're using the free open source Blazor Datasheet control available on GitHub. To use the control, we can open up the home.razor page and simply add the datasheet uh, markup. However, initially this won't display any data, so to display some data, what we're going to do is we're going to add a dropdown that will allow us to select one of two different um, data tables that has sample data. So we'll use the following markup to add the dropdown. When the dropdown is selected and the load data table method is invoked, this code is used to take the sample data that's in a data table and to populate the Blazor datasheet control. Now let's look at calling OpenAI. Once the Blazor datasheet control has been loaded with data, we can just click on the cells and update the data as we see fit. When we're done making our updates, we can then click the Submit button, which will then call OpenAI. First, this code is used to transfer the data from the Blazor datasheet control back to a data table. When that is done, this code is used 
to construct a message to OpenAI, passing the original data table as well as the updated data table and asking OpenAI to determine what changes have been made and to infer any rules or validation rules and to then indicate what cells that are affected by those validation rules that should be highlighted and to have those cells um, returned as JSON. We then take that JSON and pass it through OpenAI again to ensure that the JSON is properly formatted. I have had issues with bugs because the JSON was not properly formatted. So making the second pass, was I was able to get rid of those bugs. Once we do have JSON that's been validated, we then use this code to update the Blazor datasheet control to highlight those cells in yellow. Updating the data. So now the cells that are indicated as having validation issues have been highlighted, we can now click the Apply Changes button. This will then go to this code, which instructs OpenAI to indicate what the new value should be for those cells that have validation issues. When that data comes back, this code is used to actually update the data in the data sheet, and this time it will turn the background color to light green. At this point, the data sheet control will display the updated data. All the code is available on blazerhelpwebsite.com. Thank you.